thank you so much for joining us today. Great job on stage. You have a lot oh, of thank you. big announcements. And I want to start with, uh, I guess, the big one, top in headlines, and that's signing Microsoft as a foundry customer. Does that mean that Microsoft's going to be using Intel's production for its homegrown chips and only Intel? Can you just provide more details on that relationship? Well, it's going to be vague. Right. You know, Satya just said, hey, they've committed designs to 18A and he didn't say if it was their designs or which different segment. So we're just happy to have them as yet another 18A customer. And he was willing to go public uh, with them as a customer of 18A. And it's adding to the growing list of foundry customers that we have for both wafers and for packaging technology. So it's also adding to your pipeline. So yes. your, uh, your Intel Foundry pipeline was originally 10 billion, you upped it to 15 billion. Yep. Can you just explain that $5 billion difference? Is that because of Microsoft, United Microelectronics, your Foundry partners? Like what's driving that growth specifically? Especially when you've said on earnings calls that there's going to be no meaningful revenue growth uh, until 2025. Yeah, and you know, three things that we've, uh, getting from 10 to 15, you know, we announced the UMC partnership, which adds to the pipeline. We've now announced Microsoft as the next 18A customer, and we've also completed a number of additional packaging uh, customers as well, our advanced packaging foundry offerings as well. So those three have taken the pipeline up pretty substantially, and uh, so we've uh, updated the number to over 15 billion now. But the bulk of your revenue right now just comes from packaging, though. Not, and that's saw, we saw weakness, which impacted your quarter. That was some of the traditional packaging, Correct. but the pipeline is almost all around advanced packaging, some of these mature node relationships like the UMC and Tower partnership, but increasingly the modern nodes like 18A. So we see a very robust overall you know, pipeline of customers and our lifetime deal value, what we talked about now over $15 billion, we're starting to count. I'm going to just make, a, I guess, a hard pivot for a second because it's topical. And it was your commentary about Ohio and the, the plant delays in Ohio. Can you just shed some light on that progress? Does that mean that you'll have to change your forward guidance because of those plant delays? So, you know, when you build a factory like this, it's really two phases. One is you construct this incredible building that takes multiple years and some of the most complex plumbing and chemistry and building and seismic that's done on any building on earth. And that has continued uninterrupted with no delays. So the building is underway. If you go to the site today, cranes and concrete trucks and so on, the, then filling it with capacity when you put that expensive equipment in, that's pushed out a little bit given some of the market conditions. So, but we're continuing, get the building built and then we're gonna equip it and use it right, for production, depending on market conditions. And that'll be a little bit later than we initially expected when we announced the plans. What do you mean by market conditions, though? Well, when do I have foundry customers? What happens, you know, we're in a very tough economic cycle, and you've seen, you know, us and many other companies say it's a little bit softer than we expected at this, uh, at this time. And these, are, when you equip the factories, you know, when we announced the site, it was over 20 billion, right? And about a third of that is the building. We're getting that done because that's this long lead time project, you know, pouring concrete, digging mm. holes, doing construction. And then the second phase, two thirds of the cost is in that phase. And then when you put that equipment in place, you've got to use it. You know, that's the only way the economics work for a semiconductor. So that phase, that second portion is the part that has delayed a little bit.